Sure seems like the market likes the debt ceiling progress, and after a slow start to the day, the market's really kicked it into high gear. S&P's up over a percent, NASDAQ about a percent and a half, and even the Dow gained about half a percent. The bill now goes to the Senate. It's most likely going to vote on it tomorrow. Speaking of tomorrow, we get the May jobs report with expectations of 180,000 jobs added. And that comes after today's ADP report, which showed private payrolls grew much more than expected. And that, all while the weekly jobless claims this morning, rose mildly. And then, of course, got the Fed meeting in two weeks, June 13th, 14th. And what they may do in the CME FedWatch tool has been extremely volatile. A few days ago, it was pricing in a 60% chance of a 25 basis point hike. Now, that's almost an 80% chance of no hike at all. Vol Q and ES options. NASDAQ Vol down 5% today, back down to about 18 and a half where it was last Friday. ES Weekly, the second weekly, next week's 3525 puts, over 22,000 of those traded today. And ES at the money implied Vol for tomorrow about 15%, but that drops down to about 11.5% for next Friday, the lowest it has been all year. Bitcoin volatility on the decline as well as the price movement, and Bitcoin really nearly unchanged today. Watch for levels of 26,600 for support and 28,000 is resistance, which is also the 50-day moving average.